Crohn's line to the There's only one effect and barium has in the body. Short-term exposure can lead to anything from stomach to chest pains. Long-term exposure causes blood pressure problems. Brian addressed concerns by chemtrail researchers that barium could be meant to wear down a person's immune system. We're talking about dominating our air supply without the human consent in a, in a way that is, is difficult for many of us certainly to conceive and certainly many of us refuse to accept it even in the light of sufficient and overwhelming evidence. atmosphere because they wouldn't be doing it every day these things mix with the air we breathe and they they are, are not healthy so this is this was the reason I began to to question uh, because you know if somebody's doing something that might harm you or you or your family uh, you, you want to find out what it is absolutely and the thing even without knowing George, even without knowing the exact composition of what's being sprayed, uh, you can get some indication of the potential health risks from epidemiological studies of pollution particles. I mean, these are, after all, a kind of pollution particles. And uh, the, what studies have shown is that the particles in the size range are associated with Alzheimer's disease, lung cancer, risk for stroke, risk for cardiovascular disease, mm. lung inflammation and diabetes, reduced renal function in older males. And yet most people would have no idea it's coming from above. From above, morbidity and premature mortality, decreased male fertility, low birth rate, onset of asthma, increased hospital admissions, and increased cognitive or decreased cognitive ability in older women. Marv, in your opinion, where are they loading up these planes? Where are they taking off from? And I cannot find one of these pilots. Have you been lucky enough to find one? Somebody uh, do no, a I'm, I'm sure that, well, first let me say in a more general sense, you know, I've, I've, I've written to, and this is, this is on my website, I've written to the mayor of San Diego and the, the police chief to tell them about the health risks and then that they should be doing something about it. They should be warning children not to be playing outside when the spraying is going on, things like that. They did nothing. They did nothing. Now, uh, there's certainly laws, childhood endangerment, for example, uh, that, that should be covered by this, but apparently there is some secret gag order, which has to be an illegal gag order. Mm -hmm. Nobody has the right to poison the air we breathe nope. and to order people to be silent about it or to lie about it. Nobody has that right. Uh, the only way that this system can function as it is, is by secrecy and by deceit, deceiving the public. Are you 100% convinced that this is happening? Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, and, and even, uh, you know, if, if you ask so if somebody about a, a topic like ghosts, okay, maybe a true believer might say, well, there are ghosts in the world, but unless the ordinary person can see such a manifestation, it's hard to relate to. But I'm telling you, with the spraying of the atmosphere, all you have to do is to look up up in the air. I mean, you, you see this, and you see they, they often spray at night, where so you don't see the spraying. But what's what the, the gross effect after the, the, the trails disperse uh, is to leave a white a white haze in the mm -hmm. sky. That's the light that's being scattered looks by like, those... It looks like light. smog, but it's not. Yes, that's right. It's it, it's light that's scattered by those particles. And uh, it's... So it, you mentioned uh, the word conspiracy theory. That was a term that was invented by the Central Intelligence Agency. That's right. Uh, that's back uh, during the, uh, the Kennedy assassination. To put down people who were getting too close to the truth. Exactly. And that is the big lie now. They'll, they'll brand, I've been branded a conspiracy theorist and all sorts of other things. So
Southern California, Marv, is getting blasted with horrible fires. Uh, there's uh, been a drought for some time. Uh, the concern now of mudslides, if and when it does rain. But do you think these fires have anything to do with these sprays? No, no, I know that the fires have something to do you with You know the they do. All right. Well, if, if only in the sense that we have, uh, there has been, been an artificially created drought for the last four years or so. It has been artificially created by all of the spraying. The weather moves from uh, west to east, and so the spraying it takes place over uh, California uh, and in, off in the Pacific, you know, to the, the eastern side of the, the Pacific. And the whole purpose is to prevent rain from falling in California. And uh, on my website, uh, you, you'll see a, 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 a line that uh, just links to uh, California uh, desiccation. Uh, and, and the reason, and it's a, it's, it contains a NASA a worldview photograph that shows the spraying over over Southern California, and it shows the the spraying, the heavy spraying Jeez. at the edge of the Pacific Ocean, and it shows the white clouds that can't pass it, and that are just moving upward. Now these things may be augmented by radio frequency uh, controls. I I don't have any insider knowledge on that. Mark, if if these people who are behind this are listening to this program right now. They may, and they must be going crazy listening well, to it. Well, they, they, they certainly uh, know what I'm talking about, and they probably worry about who knows what I know. We, we have been following, and I'm going to be doing a, uh, another report on that in the next coming week or two, of uh, holistic doctors, uh, some 81 of them now. Uh, have been killed or have died in very bizarre situations.